Hello, everyone. So, what we have here is a, uh, a very cheap quarter-inch universal joint, non-impact. It's got a, a pin inside of it, and uh, the pin broke off, right? Now, this is a cheap tool manufacturer. I don't recommend them. Begin with the letter P. They don't honor their uh, their products. There's no manufacturer or RMA you can get on any of these things, right? So we're gonna try to fix this today. And uh, you know, often you know, in this discardable community society that we live in right now, you know, it's like you ask yourself, well, why would you try to do this? Why would you try to fix this? There's a couple reasons, right? One, it's a challenge. Don't run away from challenges. Uh, two, it's a learning moment. Learning and challenge go hand in hand, right? Three, the more things you challenge yourself with, right, the more agile you become to solving problems in the future. So, you're going to gain a skill, right, an insight into how things function, put together, and how to fix them and solve them when things come up. Because this skill that we're going to use right now, simple, it's a peen and over skill, right? We're going to be able to transfer to other things, and we'll have a bigger picture of how things work and they're put together in the world. And that in itself is worth it. So, this is what I'm thinking we can do, right? I think we can take just a screw like this, right? And we need to peen them over. It has to create some sort of like a uh, pathway into this. So that way it can stay together. That's what this used to be, but that broke off, right? Not really sure what the spring does anymore. It's been a while, but either way, that's what we're going to try to do. So let's, let's have at it and see if this will even work. Ideally, it would be nice to have a, a little bit of a harder grade bolt or screw, but we'll use that for now. So this is what I'm thinking. Instead of using the screw, right, it's kind of very flimsy. The metal is so flimsy. I think we're going to use this machine screw instead. And uh, if you want to know what it is, that's what I'm using. Yep, Hellman. Yeah, it's Hellman brand. All right, so we're going to have to cut the end off of that and try to sand it down and then peen it over. Let's go ahead and uh, take this and place it in the uh, drill. That's good. I really like this drill. Whole... Dual made this drill such a long time ago. It's the DW987. Uh, I have two of them. The impact one that came out with the same generation 18 volt. Yeah, they did a great job with it. And then these batteries just start to fail, and the battery costs way more than a tool. You can get the uh, non OEM one, but they are <laughs> rolling the dice. All of them are crap. So it sucks. Just want you to buy a new drill every time. This. this is like 60 60 grit sandpaper.
that went well, so you might laugh at us. Another solution you can have if if you don't have uh, those tools, right, is to just get a drill bit. Here's a broken off drill bit. I just found it. Works flawlessly, right? Or you can take that screw like we did, just kind of change the diameter of it. And that also works. All right, so we have choices here. We can use this, or we can use this. I don't know what the di what drill bit size this is. I wish I could want to tell you, but I don't know. Um, this drill bit's going to be a lot harder material, you know. I'm torn. Well, put it like this. I know where that's going to be. And uh, I think we'll move forward with what we just worked on. Uh, so we kind of need to, like, kind of cut some of this off, right? And need to leave a little bit extra so we can, can peen it over. So. so if we cut on those lines, that'll be good. It's a little hard to see, but... We'll cut on those lines and then we'll peen it over. It's a little hard to a good shot of this because the uh, <coughs> just doesn't want to zoom in on it well. Try not to clamp too hard in the vices. I don't want to misshape the actual uh, <coughs> pin, so that way it doesn't have a hard time going back in. If you don't have that uh, air tool with the sand, the air sander like I do, you can just put your drill, hold your drill like I did like this and then just get a piece of sandpaper, rough sandpaper, and hold it there. It'll do the same thing. It'll be a little bit slower, but it'll do the same thing. So you don't need the uh, air sander. Now let's see if we can... Uh, Get a good fit on this. Or shall I say we we did a good cut. I think it's gonna fight me because the ends are uh, yeah. I gotta I kinda have to kinda smooth them out so I think that I think that thing is leaking. What do you think? All right, let's see. I 
think that should work. It's pretty hard to see. It's kind of tight. But, uh... better. A little hard to see, but you get the idea. Alright, cool. So we should just ping that over and it'll work. Alright, so uh, one of the things about peening something, right, it's like uh, it expands. So the end expands and uh, basically just I'm gonna do like light taps. <laughs> a, little, a little hard to do. Oh, yeah. Let's see, I'm gonna try that. The, I want it to expand because all they're doing is to try to minimize it from backing out, you know? So. I'm gonna call it a win. That thing looks better than factory. Wow. <laughs> I'm impressed. Alright, and I'm not easily impressed. I hope you can see this, but that's like so good. That it's like the perfect amount I knocked out. Can you see that? It's like it's like brand new. You would never know. Right? Look at that. That is a, it's a great fix. And it and the, and we have not lost any articulation. Yeah. All right. I'm impressed. All right. Hey, listen. Thanks for hanging out. Hope you like this video. And I hope you're having a wonderful day. This is Labor Day weekend in America. So, it's time to celebrate for a lot of people. If you're a Burning Man, they're probably getting flooded right now. Actually, they are getting flooded. Be safe. Get back here. Wherever hair there is for you. And uh, listen, I hope you liked the video. Give it a thumbs up. And uh, thumbs down if you don't like it. Or send me a message. Let me know what we can do. Or just leave a comment below. That'd be better. How we can improve this video. Other than that, I'll see you next video, and uh, thanks for hanging out, okay?